What's up girls? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Coach Nat and I'm an online women's fitness and nutrition coach. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you two ground turkey recipes that you'll actually like. Ground turkey can get super dry and I know that's why people hate it, but I actually love ground turkey and I'm gonna share with you two of my favorite ways to make it. But before doing that, coffee. And coffee. Coffee is needed. So what we're gonna do is just gonna add some water. How cute are these mugs that I got from Amazon though? So aesthetic, so perfect for coffee. All right, super easy, check this out. I do one tablespoon of the Trader Joe's cold brew. I also made a reel on this recipe on my Insta. So we're doing one tablespoon. This cold brew is legit. Like, it's legit. It tastes really good and it gives you that energy. I'm usually hesitant because I love Starbucks and I can never give that up, but this right here gives you the energy that you need. So, highly recommend. And then this is the star of the show. Salted caramel collagen. Yes, salted caramel collagen. This is packed with protein, 15 grams of protein. It has all five types of collagen that your body actually needs in order for you to see the benefits of taking a collagen supplement. So many of my clients tell me that they've taken other collagen supplements in the past, like the ones that you get from Costco, and they don't notice any benefits with their hair uh, being thicker, their skin looking brighter, feeling the benefits of this helps you with your skin, hair, bones, joints, like so many different benefits, but if you do not have all types of collagen in the collagen supplement that you're taking, it's a waste of money. So I really like this one, salted caramel and coffee is bomb. We're gonna mix that up. All right, and then we're going to add a splash of this unsweetened almond, cashew, and macadamia nut milk from Trader Joe's. You can use whatever milk you like. And then I like my coffee to be very sweet. So I'm gonna add some stevia and a little bit of this sugar-free cinnamon dolce syrup. Starbucks used to have sugar-free cinnamon dolce syrups and then they discontinued it. I was at TJ Maxx one day and I saw this one. I'm like, oh, I need to get it. It's a sign because that's my favorite. Give that another quick mix and then we're gonna add in our ice. Comment down below. Do you like iced coffee or hot coffee? I am an iced coffee girl. There we go, wait. We're not done yet. This right here. You gotta add the super cute bamboo top with the glass straw. How cute is this? Is it a little taste test? Hold on. Let me close this cup properly because knowing me, I'm gonna make a mess. Six and a half hours later. There, now, look at this. Let's do a taste test. Now I can start my day and we're gonna get bagels in a second. Woo! Start, look, I just took one sip and I'm already in a much better mood. It's the coffee, it's the collagen and the coffee. During prep was the most stressful time ever because not only was I prepping and not only did I have to deal with like normal life stressors, but I also had to deal with the fact that I was selling my house. So my house was sold and I had 60 days after the closing date to move. Well, all of July, which is the first 30 days. All of July, I was back to back traveling. I had my competition. I had my Thailand retreat. So I had zero time to start packing up my stuff. Now that it's August, it's like crunch time and we are just down to three weeks left of me fully packing up my shit and getting out of here. Thankfully, I'm moving in with one of my friends and she just lives like five minutes from me. So that's something that's gonna be super temporary until I find a place to settle down myself. But because of the short timeline and really not even having any time to go out and look at places that I actually wanna go, this kind of worked out perfectly in my favor. The universe always has your back. And my friend was living with a roommate and her roommate just so happened to leave at the same time that I needed a place to go. So everything just worked out perfectly. My biggest stressor is just packing up all my stuff to get out of here on time. But one of the saddest things is giving up my home gym. 
So I built my home gym a couple of months ago, actually like a month before starting prep. And then prep started and I just went to the gym and I did all of my workouts and cardio there because it just helped me with the motivation. Also my coach trained me a person. So I didn't get a chance to fully enjoy my home gym as much as I wanted to. And I feel like I just put it up and now I have to take it all down and move it. So I'm gonna give you girls an official gym tour. And don't worry because I'm gonna put this up in my new place like with my friend because she's also into fitness, but I'll show you that in another video. For now, let me show you my home gym. These are swords that I've won at my previous competitions. So some shows give away trophies, others give away swords. It's totally different. Most of the time it's trophies, but these swords are one of the first trophies or winning items that I've received. These mirrors I actually got from Home Depot. This dues paid flag is from First Form. I got my power rack from PRX Performance and of course I had to get it custom made with my NCF branding colors. And I'm so sad, I didn't even get a chance to fully enjoy this gym. All of the flooring is from a warehouse here in Doral. I also got this, um, it's called a wing and it holds all the plates. I got it from PRX as well. All of my plates and my barbell I got at a really good price from Dick's Sporting Goods. They were running a special. And this is my weighted vest that I got from First Form. And I still need to order like actual weighted vest plates. There's plates that are made for vests. But what I did was I just added one of these um, round, small five pound plates in there. I have 12 pounds in there. So I have two of these and I also have a 2.5. And then all of my dumbbells, this dumbbell set is actually from Costco. And I think that that was like 300 bucks. I'm not sure, but how freaking cute, man. Oh, this sign was gifted to me. This girl gang sign was also gifted to me from Sean, which is my coach over at First Form. And this so beautiful. So I'm really just soaking in, doing my home workouts and enjoying it because I didn't get a chance to fully enjoy it because of prep and stuff. But no worries, you know, everything happens for a reason. Thankfully, my friend is also super into fitness and she is so cool with me bringing all of my home gym stuff and putting it in her garage. So I'm stoked about that. I'm about to make a turkey burger. So I posted this recipe on my Instagram reels. I like getting the burger buns nice and toasty, so I sprayed the top with some coconut oil spray. And I'm putting it on the pan so that way it can get crispy on the outside, but it's still soft on the inside. And I'm warming up the burger on the pan. I added some of this light cheese on it. I got this at Trader Joe's. I actually only ended up using half of a serving, which came out to only 14 grams, 40 calories, two fat and four grams of protein. I like adding pickled onions to my burger and I'm also going to add this no sugar ketchup. And this is one not so boring way that you girls can enjoy your ground turkey. This iguana is not even scared of Virgo. Like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. You would think that Virgo would want to kill this iguana and this iguana is not scared. This is too funny. Virgo versus iguana. I'll bark no bite. And they say that dogos are so vicious. This iguana gives no fuck right now. And that's how mornings with Virgo 
are at this house. These are the ingredients that you're gonna need for the cabbage rolls. And yes, the cabbage roll recipe will be included in my newest cookbook. Save the date for August 29th because I'm giving you all of the recipes that I've ever made for just $1. So today you're gonna need 99% lean ground turkey. I have eight ounces here. The other half of the package I used for my turkey burgers that I showed you. You're gonna need mushrooms, a carrot, red onion, shallot, garlic, and of course, cabbage. And then in front of me, I have a little plastic bag. This is something that I actually picked up in undergrad in one of my cooking classes, is to have a bag or a bowl or something for you to just conveniently throw your trash in. So that way you just Throw it away and you work more efficiently while you're in the kitchen. It's just always been like a, you know, a little hack. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna chop up some mushrooms, chop up some onions, chop up everything so that way we can have our stuff ready to go. And then all we have to do is cook it. This is gonna be so simple. Let's get to it. Now that we've chopped up all of our veggies, this part is super simple. We're just gonna toss it all in a pan and start cooking. Okay, so next we're gonna put some water to boil and we're gonna take care of this situation. So I like taking off a couple layers from the top because that part's dirty. And now I'm going to wash this and then we're going to tear out a couple layers. So this is gonna be one roll, this is my second roll. This will be my third roll. So now I have my four layers and I'm gonna put this in boiling water so that way it gets nice and soft and we can manipulate it and roll it up into little cabbage rolls. <laughs> And now we have our cabbage rolls. I'm so excited to try this. I added some soy sauce on top and a little bit of furikake just for the aesthetic. We're gonna dip it in this Thai peanut sauce. I got this from Whole Foods. I'm gonna dig in. This smells so good. Chopsticks, cuz duh. This one kind of broke a little bit, so we're gonna go into this one first. Dip that in the sauce. Cheers! Mmm. This shit right here, OMG. If you're looking for fun ways to make ground turkey or just make healthy recipes in general, you gotta try this. And don't forget, mark your calendar, August 29th. You're getting all of these recipes for just $1. I hope you girls love those recipes. If you try it out, make sure to tag me on Insta. Would love to see how yours comes out. Go ahead and mark your calendar for August 29th. All of my recipes, just $1. I'm giving it to you 24 hours only though. So mark your calendars. Make sure to subscribe in my next video. I'm gonna show you a physique update, show you where I'm at one month post show, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.